What's going on guys, in this video I'll be going over 3 OP guns in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare after the most recent patch. But if you enjoyed the video, definitely feel free to leave a like, it really helps with the algorithm, and also if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing for more videos. But anyways, getting right into it. So the first class I have right here is with the 725 shotgun. So this shotgun, obviously a lot of you guys probably die to it a lot. I know it's already become a meme, but it is still ridiculously OP. It has this like weird ability to shoot super long range, which is kind of realistic to normal shotguns. But either way, guys, if you're playing short range maps or maps are shooting up close and personal, this gun is definitely going to do the trick. But one thing to note, if you haven't used this shotgun yet with the attachments, the slug rounds can be super hit or miss. So a lot of people are getting really mad about this shotgun because if you put slug rounds on it like a real shotgun in real life, it can shoot super, super far. But if you shoot close range, you can literally shoot directly at someone and miss. So that is something you may want to take into account. But either way, with or without the slug, it still shoots pretty well. Like as you can see right here, I'm shooting guys that are decently far away and hitting my shots with them. But either way, the shotgun is super, super OP. Next on the list is Car 98. So this is can be used as a sniper, it can be used close range, medium range, whatever. I personally like it for quick scoping. As you can see here, it gets quite a few quick scopes on it. And this gun is honestly one of the best rifles and snipers in the game because it is super good all around. It has the short range, it has the long range, it has the close up that you can use it as well. Overall, I really like it quite a bit. Um, some things to note about this one, if I'm doing a close range map like this one right here, which is the new 24-7 map that's out right now, I'll definitely not be using an actual sniper scope on it, but if I was playing Ground War or something like that, or just any other bigger map, I'd probably be using a different scope. And also it kind of depends how you're using this. If you're using it short range on a map like this, you're definitely going to want to switch up the perks, like some sleight of hand maybe, and also some perks that make it so your aiming's a little bit quicker. But if you're using a, it on a long range map, you may want to switch in some perks that are some attachments that make it so that you can actually um, have a little bit more damage associated with the weapon. But either way, moving on to the next and the final class or the final weapon, it's going to be the MP5. So the MP5 by far I think is the easiest to use and the most OP submachine gun. So with the MP5 a couple of things that you might want to uh, take into consideration when you're using this gun is I like it a lot with the silencer. There's a couple of different silencers. I like the tactical silencer the best or the tactical suppressor the best. It really is the best suited for this gun in my opinion. This gun is super good at close range. It's super good at medium as well. And for an SMG, it actually has decent range. Like, you're not going to be picking people off in ground war or anything like that, but it actually does have a decent range here. And honestly, if you're just looking for an overall good gun, kind of regardless of the game mode you're in, whether it's search and destroy or, you know, team deathmatch, a close map, a close range map like the new 24-7 map doesn't really matter. I really, really think the MP5 is a good way to go. I personally use it with um, a couple different perks. A lot of people have been using overkill in this game, but I personally like it with double time as well as kind of depending on what game mode I'm playing. I do switch up the perks on this, but I do like sometimes using throwing knives, using subtuxes. So sometimes I will use a perk based on what uh, lethal I'm using, whether or not I want double of them or not. But also some things you might want to consider is ghost or just overall some perks that will allow you to not be seen by enemies that's the point of the suppressor but i don't know it really depends what game mode you're playing but overall the mp5 is definitely one of the best guns and also last but not least going over some kind of just perks that i use on all of these classes so basically with all of these classes right here i use uh, the same three perks because i'm not using overkill on any of these and i also use the same secondary and obviously the lethals and tacticals can be up to you so with the perks i pretty much always use double time with them so that's the perk that's basically like allows you to sprint longer and sprint a whole lot faster i just personally like that because i like being able to get around quicker and being able to get more kills and things like that and then for the second and third pick it honestly depends what map and what lethals I'm using. So there's a couple, I don't really, actually I don't really like a lot of the second and third perks in this game. I like perk one a whole lot better, but um, 
either way so some perks you could consider using depending on what map and what game mode you're using so i kind of like being um, hidden i kind of like not being able to be seen so perks that allow you to not be detected by enemy uav as well as just enemy like kill streaks and things like that can be pretty useful and also some other useful perks i think are the ones that allow you to take less damage from kill streak or non kill streak explosives as well as emp and stuns things like that and also some perks can be useful if you um, just simply want to recharge your lethals i think that can be a really really good perk for any class kind of regardless of what you're using as well as the one that allows you to spawn with two if you're looking for two claymores or two throwing knives whatever it might be i really really like the throwing knife i'm putting it on a lot of my classes i think it's just overall fun to use but other than that the perks and the attachments of course are really up to you i kind of like how they have them in this game but overall i'm got, probably going to be putting out a different video that's a little bit more specific on the classes i like and the specific attachments this was just more overall the guns but other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.